relevant also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who, for one reason or another, have not been able to take advantages of higher education. Let's say you're one of those people. One of those who think where you start in life shouldn't limit where you go. One of those who think a university shouldn't just be, well, a university. Let's say you're one of us, and together we are the open university. Open to all of us, all of the time. Not some of us, some of the time. We are a movement of millions, a mission of one. We are disruptors, occasional troublemakers, game changers. We are the fuel for imagination, chasing comets, making the impossible possible. We are restless in our drive to see progress that touches us all, inspiring students to become ministers and midwives, barristers and teachers, tech entrepreneurs, business gurus, and more. Our cause goes beyond being an innovative way of learning, and our future lies in continuing to build that cause. We are the people who open up the future of learning. This is how we shape the future. Let's say you are one of those people who believe what we believe, one of those excited by possibility. Let's say you are one of us. We can't wait to open up millions of futures. And with your help, we can. Hi, my name is Sarah Jones and I'm the Students Association President and I'd like to say how proud we are of your achievements. Like you, I have studied and completed my studies with the OU. Whilst the achievement is down to my hard work, like you, I couldn't have accomplished what I've done without the support of my friends, my family, my fellow students, my tutors and the staff at the OU. To be an OU student means balancing work, home, family life and studying and caring responsibilities to reach your goals is a superhuman feat. Underneath your graduation gowns and smart clothes, you all wear superhero outfits. I know many of you will have done what I did and stayed up late or got up in the wee small hours to get the final TMA submitted or tried hard to find a space and time to do remote exams. Managing the difficulties of studying alongside the extra pressures that work and life bring means your achievements must be celebrated in style. Oh, you students are remarkable. Your accomplishments overwhelm me with pride. Hearing your stories of the things that you've done come through and the things and life that has happened around you for you to be able to claim your degree. Having babies, losing loved ones, changing work and supporting families and getting that support back on the road to your degree are amazing. Today, we celebrate your success and the immense proud that you should feel in yourselves. Graduates, we salute you and we raise a glass to you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor. And I just wanted to say well done and congratulations on reaching the amazing milestone that is an Open University degree. There have been many things about this horrible pandemic that we've all been wrestling with, but I can honestly say that not being able to do degree ceremonies and meet all the amazing students at our university has been one of the big losses for me personally. I really hope that we'll be able to see each other face to face again soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that you have done an incredible thing. People talk about part-time learners for the Open University, but I think we all know you are actually double-time learners, often holding down jobs, often looking after family members, caring for children, dealing with tough circumstances in your own lives. So congratulations. Hallelujah. You made it. You are going to go on and do incredible and remarkable things with what you've learnt. This is just the first stage of your journey and you should be immensely proud to be ever, forever part of a network of people who have completed Open University degrees. Have a great celebration. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual degree ceremony. It's wonderful that you're joining us and I hope you're all well and safe and enjoy the ceremony. By the authority given in the Statue Open University, it is my great pleasure to declare this ceremony open 
for the presentation of graduates for their degrees and qualifications. I'm delighted to welcome you to today's event, our graduates, your families and friends, and friends and supporters of the university too. Each year, in more normal times, we present graduates for their qualifications at ceremonies in towns and cities throughout England and in Belfast, Glasgow, Dublin and Cardiff. And today, we're just as excited to celebrate your success in this virtual ceremony. You're graduating from the largest university, not just in the UK, but in Europe, known across the world for the quality of our courses and termination of our students. The OU's success over 52 years is down to what you, our graduates, achieve, often against the odds, and not just the qualification you're being presented for today, but the difference that you'll make with it in the years ahead. So it goes without saying that this is a very important occasion in the life of you, your families and loved ones, as well as the university and my colleagues who I hope you'll feel have nurtured and supported you. Please do celebrate your achievement and post messages or photos on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, use the hashtag OUFamily to share with many others. We'll now see the presentation of graduates able to join us today, which will be followed by my personal address. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual ceremony presentation. My name's Jane Shepherd. I'm one of the managers in the Ceremony Centre and also an associate lecturer at the Open University. And it's my pleasure to present graduates for their qualifications today. I'd also like to welcome graduates, family, friends and staff who are watching today's live stream. I'm delighted you're joining us to celebrate the success and achievements of our students. In a moment, I'll read out the names of each group of students. Graduates, you will appear on screen in a group and your audio will be turned on. Please make sure your microphone is live so we can all hear your reactions and applause at the end of your group and at the end of the ceremony. Hopefully everyone watching will join in as well. Vice-Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to join us today. For the degree of Master of Arts in Childhood and Youth, Faye Cole. For the degree of Master of Arts in Classical Studies, Leila Afana. For the degree of Master of Arts in English, Joseph Eveson. For the degree of Master of Arts in Music, with distinction, Robert O'Neill. For the degree of Master of Arts in Music, Fiona Hunt. For the degree of Master of Arts in Music, Victoria Jenkins. For the, sorry. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Online and Distance Education, Winston Etienne. For the degree of Master of Arts in Translation, Anne-Marie Dowds. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Thea Jordan. For the degree of Master of Education, Zaidi Akbar Ali. For the degree of Master of Science in Computing, Information Security and Forensics, Christopher Murphy. For the degree of Master of Science in Environmental Management, with distinction, Cornelia de Ziu. For the degree of Master of Science in Mental Health Science, with distinction, Dawn Pittman. For the degree of Master of Science in Mental Health Science, Laura Steventon. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Art History, with First Class Honours, Claire Elson. <laughs> well done, Claire. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Classical Studies and Religious Studies, sorry, with First Class Honours, Alexandria Giesen. Well done. <laughs> for, the, for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Creative Writing, with First Class Honours, Suzanne Edgerton. Thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, with Honours, Charlene Lawrence. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management Economics with Honours, Alana Mitchell. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management Leadership Practice with Honours, Wendy Quinn. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Lindsay Morgan. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with First Class Honours, Shane Gibson. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Design and Innovation with Honours, Tiffany Tate. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Years with Honours, Samantha Wills. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with First Class Honours, Jane McCallum. Congratulations, everyone. I shall now continue with a presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees and Bachelor of Law degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care, with honours, Ernest Azika. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care, with honours, Patience Imiko Sakutu. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Policy and Criminology, with honours, Monique Lindsay. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Rosemary Beale. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Donna Briggs. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Catherine Davis. Thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Neil Menzies. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open, Fatima Abdul Sattar. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Austin Ehiboche. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Karamjit Rupra. Congratulations, everyone. Well done, everyone. Well done. Well done, well done everyone. Well done, everyone. I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Combined STEM with honours, Peter Mburia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing and IT, with honours, Tridev Gurung. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, with honours, Amy Emery. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mental Health Nursing, with honours, Stephanie Redfern. 
for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences with First Class Honours, Lucia Inez Lopez Sanchez. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences with Honours, Pedro Lopez Peña. <laughs> for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Louise Council. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Isensa Lewis. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Emma McLaughlin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport, Fitness and Coaching with Honours, Andrew Cawthorn. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Arkadiusz Bukalski. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Stacey McIntyre. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Christopher Pett. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, with honours, Benjamin Watson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open, Maria Alfias. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. I shall now present graduates who have gained Diplomas of Higher Education. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Criminology and Psychology, Claire Wilson. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Health Sciences, Joanne Lewis. For the degree, sorry, for the Diploma of Higher Education in Law, Elizabeth Hardy. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Psychology, Annette Fawcett-Jones. For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Tandiwe Kumalo. For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Anushka McConnell. For the Diplo Diploma of Higher Education Open, Jennifer Mpofu. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jennifer. For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Gina Varekia. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> Graduates, there will now follow a personal message from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Tim Blackman. Please keep your microphone on as we come back to you for a huge round of applause following this address, which will conclude today's ceremony. Thank you, Jane. Well, firstly, and most importantly, congratulations. Thank you for joining us on this very special day to recognise what you've achieved, and each of you is truly extraordinary. I believe that today you are the most amazing body of graduates anywhere in the world. You've believed in yourselves and we've believed in you, all of us, your dedicated associate lecturers and advisors, the expert academics who write your courses, the designers and technologists who bring them to life on the screen, and all the professional services that make the OU what it is, and that's second to none. And now you've shown what that belief in you can achieve. Almost every one of you studied alongside other demanding responsibilities and commitments at work with children or as a carer. And I know that sometimes it's been tough. That would be the case in normal times, let alone getting through a pandemic. No wonder employers tell us that what they like about OU graduates is that you're self-starters and determined. You've juggled study and deadlines with many other demands, but you know, I've been told that there is one thing that's harder than being an OU student, and that's living with one. When we started back in 1969, our pioneer students and staff really were taking a step into the unknown. 
putting their faith in a university that was using new methods of teaching and would be open to everyone. We wanted our students to choose us, not us choose them. Until you progress to postgraduate or research degrees, the only question we ask you for most of our courses is, do you want to learn? You all said yes, and that gave us our mission. Many thought the OU would fail, but instead it's now one of the most successful universities in the world with over 2 million students who've studied with us. That's not just a university, it's a social movement. It's you, our students, who make the OU, but we also owe a huge debt of gratitude to the vision of the university's founders. Foremost among them was Jenny Lee, to whom Prime Minister Harold Wilson gave the job of setting up the university and a woman whose own journey from a Scottish mining community to Minister of State shaped in no small measure what the OU is today. Jenny Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everyone, and it would do that while maintaining the highest standards. No one would be able to criticise the OU for doming down. You, our graduates, have achieved these high standards of scholarship and professional practice that Jenny Lee was determined we'd maintain while opening up that opportunity to more people than ever before. And she was determined too that we would be a respected research university, currently ranked among the top third of research universities in the UK, making discoveries, inventing new products and methods, enabling us to understand each, each other better and also to live together peacefully and without endangering the planet. Curiosity and experimentation are what drive us, and I'm so glad that you chose to join that most human of adventures, to learn and live. Some of you joined us because you were curious. Many were looking to advance or change your career. You'll find OU graduates in every employment sector, often at the highest level, and you'll find thousands of businesses started by OU graduates. We've recently measured the economic impact of the OU. We spend around 500 million pounds a year, but that produces an even bigger economic impact of almost three billion pounds a year. That's more than six pounds for every one pound that we spend. Most of that return is the higher lifetime earnings that OU graduates achieve. But there's a social return as well. Graduates are on average healthier and happier than non-graduates, more likely to participate in their communities or in politics, and much less likely to be taken in by misinformation. And the OU has a social mission to bring learning to people whoever and wherever they are. That's why we partner with the BBC to produce programmes like Hospital or Blue Planet 2. It's why we make available hundreds of free short courses on Open Learn and Future Learn taken by millions of people and for many a lifeline during this pandemic. Across England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, we work with employers, community organisations and trade unions to reach people where they are so that they can take their first steps into higher education. We work with carers organisations, the armed forces, prisons, job centres, colleges and schools, constantly innovating in how we provide higher education. If you're an Uber driver, for example, Uber will pay for you and your family to study with the OU for free. And if you watched Spring Watch on the BBC last year, the garden survey of insect pollinators that Chris Packham invited viewers to take part in was run by the OU's award-winning citizen science web platform called Inquire. Completion of your qualifications means you join a community of open university alumni across the world. You can continue to keep up with news, access careers advice, or come back to study. The motto on the university's crest, learn and live, is a call to action. To learn and by learning to really live. Please do good with what you've learned and encourage others to learn and live as well. As you sign off today, you'll hopefully become an ambassador for the Open University and all that is remarkable about our institution and what it stands for its values of social and environmental justice, its belief in inclusion and diversity, and above all, its vision to be open to people, places, methods, and ideas. Do share your experience with others. Let them know what your journey has meant to you and what it could mean for, what it could mean for them too. We're hugely proud of you. Well done, you're all amazing.
That concludes today's celebrations. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. Do please stay in touch with us via our alumni, careers and students association teams. On behalf of the Ceremony Centre and everyone at the Open University, we wish you every success for the future.